Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. 
Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. What's that? Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Where am I? Have I been here before? Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. Cheryl!
ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by gyromancy. What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. Do you know something? Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by Flowros. What? What are you talking about? Here, the Flowros, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help you. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait! Don't go yet! Hold it! Stop! Don't shoot! Wait! I'm not here to fight it. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out, this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. 
she died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. this? Looks like someone's been here. else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either? I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl? What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... Mm. Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. 
strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! What's this? Harry! Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts! What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah. I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... 
well, like some other world. It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. Uh, I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. <gasps> what the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Harry? Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure... Lisa... Do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream?
glad you're okay. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. The road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Are you sure? There's gotta be another way. Wait! I just remembered something! What? There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Really? You think I can get to the lake from there? I've never been down in there myself, so I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go! I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. How about coming with me? This may not be the safest place in the world, either. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best to protect you. No. Somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. Oh, Harry. I'm so scared. I'm cold. Look, just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry! Sybil. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy. I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading, trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. What's making this happen? 
I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings! Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. Demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter... I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? Wait! Too late. Sybil hasn't come back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time.
figured you'd show. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are, what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. <laughs> Donnie Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? She be... You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. Lisa, what happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? in the 
this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa... Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. to plan, sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Come, come along. No! No, I don't want to. Do what Mommy tells you now. 
just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restore her to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning when all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. Cheryl! Cheryl!
I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though a lesson has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity! <laughs>
Cheryl! Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. Cheryl? Can't be. Can't leave like this. This can't be happening. Cheryl? Cheryl! Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair.
Thank <laughs> you.